I really hate to be a fighter in military or army. We was like kids when we was forced for this life to be in army training. In the boxing, it's not a real fight. He's gonna punch with the person, but in the end, we're gonna like just hug him. I'm here in Tequila, Washington because of a comment from Allie Withers. She tagged an aspiring firefighter and boxer who has a fascinating backstory from Iraq. I was born in Iraq and the South Baghdad. When I was a kid, there is no future when you see all these horrible situations about war. They have programs for the kids. They teach you everything about military, like how to reward, how to shoot. And then I was do the boxing with this training. So when I was finished, I started like with the boxing club. I was planning to go to another country to join the club there, but it's hard for Iraqis people to go to another country. It's impossible to give you a visa. After 2003, my brother, he started work as an interpreter, and then I was his assistant. It's the most dangerous situation to be help U.S. Army or United States. Casualty rates among some Iraqi units are at World War II levels. After the ISIS knows about me, they attacked me. They attacked me with the guns, with the knives, so they got me in my bag. I was like positive I am not going to see the life again. My coach there tell me, Mo, you have to forget about boxing. He said, it's boxing with the back problem, it's over. So I made my case to get visa. In 2008, Congress passed the National Defense Authorization Act, which was supposed to grant 20,000 special immigrant visas between 2008 and 2012 to Iraqis who had been employed or related to someone employed by the U.S. government. By 2012, however, right around the time Mohammed began applying for his visa, less than 40% of the available 20,000 visas had been awarded, and it wasn't clear if the remaining visas would be used. Although Mohammed was eligible for one of these special immigrant visas, he eventually found his through the International Organization for Migration. I started working on this case number when I was 21, and then I got my visa when I was like 26. Yep, security check five years. <laughs> Today, Mohammed is one of more than 3,000 Iraqi refugees that have been resettled in Washington state. As the rest of his siblings in Baghdad also wait for visas, Mohammed has started going back to school and recently got a new doctor in Seattle who told him he can start boxing again. It was amazing to be with the boxing again. I can like run around in the ring. I can like punching. I can like do my stuff hard. I do right now uh, like an EMT, emergency medical technician, North Seattle College. My dream to work as a fireman, like in a fire department. They are more than heroes. Their people go to like dangerous situations like a fire or something burning. They are more than heroes. So it's my dream I, to work with them, to help the people, to save the people's life. If you know someone like Muhammad that's trying to make a positive impact in your neighborhood, tag them in the comments with the hashtag tag NBCLF and we'll film their story next.